हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर दीपक कुमार द्विवेदी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जूलॉजी डीएवी कॉलेज नगर टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट अ स्पेशलाइज्ड ब्रांच ऑफ जूलॉजी पैरासिटोलॉजी सम बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स in the field of parasitology actually when we talk about the basic terms in the parasitology then we come to the association and a phenomena comes as a consortism what is consortism when a plant or animal species comes into close relationship with another organism during its existence it is known as consortism according as per the report of woodbury 1953 it is of four types on the basis of benefit derived by the consortes and it is of four types mutualism commensalism parasitism predation now mutualism mutualism is what it is a relationship between two or more individuals of different species in which all are benefited by one another that is both animals are benefited and uh, it may be of two type facultative and obligate type now in case of facultative mutual, mutualism what is this actually when the individuals involved in the association are capable of existence independently that is mutualism between two animal species without continuous contact so it is known as facultative mutualism example is loose mutualistic association between tick bird and rhinoceros so actually association between uh, tick bird and rhinoceros is of such type of association what happens in this association actually tick bird uh, feeds on the skin parasites of rhinoceros and the bird flies away temporarily upon any danger but rhinoceros gets rid of from the parasites therefore both animals can live easily without each other when necessity arises right so this is the example of facultative mutualism now obligatory mutualism when the relationship is imperative to the existence of one or both species that is mutualism between two animal species with continuous contact right so here relationship is imperative for the existence of both animals examples are dairy ant and amphid aphids in this uh, case in this example dairy ant keeps the tiny great aphids uh, plant uh, lice as food suppliers and aphids secrete honey dew on which the ant depend so this is the relationship is obligatory mutualism type next is very famous example is termite and trichonympha actually in this relationship uh, termite uh, chew and sallow uh, wood as you know and uh, the flagellates digest it with the help of enzyme secreted by them and both organism share the resulting carbohydrates therefore trichonympha receive protection and are assured of a steady food supply so both uh, you know the relationship uh, is obligatory type obligatory mutualism next example is the ruminant stomach and horse cecum it contain a large number of ciliates and bacteria uh, some of which digest cellulose So these are the examples of obligatory mutualism. 
Now, next is commensalism. Commensalism is an association between two different organisms in which one is always benefited, whereas other is neither benefited nor harmed. Right. So this commensalism may be permanent. It is obligatory or temporary facultative type. It is obligatory and facultative type. The benefits uh, of these uh, actually in these animals derived from the other organism may consist of protection, transportation, living space and food. So, commensalism may be of two types with continuous contact or with, uh, um, without, with con without continuous contact and with continuous contact. So, first of all we will study the commensalism without continuous contact. Example is, uh, you know, a small tropical fish, Phyrasper. It finds shelter in the cloaca of uh, sea cucumbers. That is, it lives in the cloaca of sea cucumber. And this fish darts out for food and returns to the cloacal cavity at its own will. So, this is the first example. Next example is, it is sucker fish, Echinus and shark in this relationship actually by means of its dorsal fin the fish attaches that is sucker fish attaches to the underside of the shark and secures scraps the food wide geographical dispersal and protection in this association actually shark neither benefits nor suffers in any respect okay very famous example of this relationship Next example is crustacean dagapod, polyonox and chitopterus. In this example actually crustacean lives inside the posterior this crustacean dagapod, polyonox lives inside the posterior end of u-shaped tube of chitopterus and uh, it is uh, protected uh, against the enemies at that you know position and at the same time it derives food and oxygen from the water that leaves the tube by the moment of the appendages of Chitopteris, right? So this is the example of commensalism without continuous contact. Now commensalism with continuous contact. Examples are, uh, you know, number one, barnacle and whales. Actually, barnacle is an arthropod, and uh, they actually remain attached to the skin of whales and association which secure geographic distribution and wider feeding opportunities for the sessile crustacean and uh, since uh, actually barnacles do not feed upon the whale's flesh so they are not parasites then exam next example is hydrectinia uh, actually it is cylindrate live as commensal on the gastropod shell occupied by crab Next example is green alga grows on the long groove hairs of sloth. So these are the few examples in which that is the commensalism with continuous contact. So in commensalism actually the commensals neither harm nor help their host also appear neither to resist nor to foster the relationship in any way. Therefore, all commensalistic unions are facultative. Very important point that all such type of examples are facultative. Right? Next phenomena is proto cooperation. So, proto cooperation is an uh, actually association between two species which is favorable but not obligatory to both. Right? Both species. Example is very famous example. Very important. Uh, this is the association of a crab and a cylindrate. So here, cylindrate that is a sea anemone, Adamsia palliata. It grows on the back of the hermit crab that is a Eupagurus, um, Pridioxi. And sea anemone actually protects the crab with the help of its nematocyst from predatory fish which feed on the crab. And uh, Sea anemone is transported by the crab from place to place and obtains particles of food when crab captures and eats other animal. And 
but uh, you can see that the crab is not absolutely dependent on the cylindrate nor vice versa uh, therefore the association through favorable to both is not obligatory so yeah, such relationship is proto cooperation next uh, term is cleaning symbiosis Cle what is cleaning symbiosis a hetero specific relationship between animals that is cleaners which remove ectoparasite bacteria disease and injured tissue and unwanted food particles from cooperating the host example certain species of fishes and crustacea next term is it is a broad term it is symbiosis literally means living together it was coined by d wary 1879 that is the beneficial coaction between two or more different species where both are benefited it is it can be divided into four types foresis commensalism parasitism mutualism so i have already described two term commensalism and mutualism so i am going to describe foresis foresis literally means to carry carry you know to carry and it is a, a relationship between two animals in which small organism it is known as foront it is mechanically carried in or on the larger species that is host in forest is uh, no metabolic interaction or dependency occurs the very important difference between parasitism and foresis example is transport of bacteria on the legs of fly this is the example of forestis now come to Um, core concept of parasitology that is parasitism what is parasitism it is an you know intimate and obligate relationship in which one organism that is parasite is metabolically dependent on other organism that is host and parasite is what parasite is that organism which derive its nourishment and shelter from other host and host is that that harbors the any that animal or parasite uh next term is protelian parasitism protelian parasitism is what uh, that is the parasitism among larval mollusk it is known as protelian parasitism it is very common among fresh water bivalves of the family unoidy lamellidans example is clochidium larva which is parasitic on gills of fishes now next term is parasitic castration the destruction of gonadal tissue by a parasite is known as parasitic castration and uh, changes in the sex related characteristic are known as sex reversal an example is saculina is a castration parasite on crab carcinus so this is parasitic castration next term is parasite mix or parasitocinosis the whole assemblage of parasites associated with a host population or the combined population of organism both flora and fauna that live together in a host organ or in the entire host or in the host population Right, it is known as parasitosynosis. Next is biosynosis. Biosynosis is a community of living organism whose uh, interests are integrated by requirements imposed by a circumscribed habitat and by mutual interaction, sometimes known as species network. Next term is parasitogenesis. What is this? actually parasitogenesis is the evolution of relationship between the parasite and its host next term is paraneogen genus and paraneogenesis is a condition in which intestinal parasites of vertebrates have secondarily taken up next term is parasitoid Uh, parasitoid generally refers to hymenopterans which are parasitic only in their immature stages example wasp lay their eggs on beetle larvae right next term is facultative parasite those parasites which does not 
depend on parasitic mode of life but are capable of adopting parasitic way of life when they get involved in such type of relationship they are known as facultative parasite obligate parasite when an organism is completely dependently dependent on the other organism or host during a part or whole of its life cycle then uh, uh, such parasite is known as obligate parasite and this relationship becomes markedly physiological right next is erect parasite erect parasite is such parasite which uh, wanders into an organ in which it is not usually found so this is the erect parasite next is periodic or sporadic parasite actually this parasite visits its host intermittently to obtain some metabolic requirement right so such parasite is known as periodic parasite now next is hyperparasite hyperparasite is such parasite which parasitizes the other parasite example is nosema dolphusii which is the hyperparasite on the larval stage of flatworm bucephalus cuculus which is a parasite of american oyster so this is the example of hyperparasite next is kleptoparasite kleptoparasite is such parasite that develops on the prey of its host variation occurs in case of kleptoparasite example is an adult parasitoid may lay its eggs on the parasitized host of another parasitoid this is an example of kleptoparasite so next is very important uh, term is definitive host and definitive host is such host in which the parasite completes sexual part or adult stage of its life cycle sexual part or adult stage example is which area bancrofti and there are many examples but i have mentioned here two examples which area bancrofti which is a filaria worm and in this case man is the definitive host next is echinococcus granulosus and in this uh, type form actually dog is the definitive host next term is intermediate host intermediate host is such host in which parasite completes asexual or larval stages of its life cycle it serve a temporary environment and molars can arthropods serve as an intermediate parasite example uh, in fasciola hepatica snails act as intermediate host and in dipede in dipelidium caninum which is stored in this flea and louse play as an intermediate host next host is transfer or paratenic or carrier host so in this host actually parasite survive without undergoing further development the development does not occur and in here by chance the infection is established by chance infection is established so this uh, paratenic host is not necessary for the completion of life cycle of parasite but utilize this as a temporary vehicle or refuse for reaching the definitive host example beetles in case of introbius vermicularis pinworm and trichinella okay so this is the example of paratenic host next host is reservoir host so the host which once becoming infected you know they serve as source of infection from which other animal can be infected examples are antelopes in case of trypanosoma cambiens and uh, armadillos in trypanosoma crozae all right next term is retro infection literally means infection from behind so retro infection is a process in which eggs laid on the perianal skin immediately hatch into the infective stage larvae and they migrate through the anus to develop into adolescent forms in the colon so infection from behind example is infection from enterobius vermiculae that is pinworm 
auto infection next is uh, auto infection now what is auto infection transferring the eggs from anus or soil to mouth by means of fingers example is uh, intravenous and very this auto infection is very common habit in children next term is swimmers itch also known as cercarial dermatitis and also known as clam diggers itch and very important phenomena in case of dermatode and it is uh, caused by the cercarii of non human cystosomes uh, which is a dermatode that is mammalian and avian species of blood flow uh, swimmers itch is an um, actually allergic syndrome in man and an irritation produced by the incomplete penetration of cercarii of blood flow of birds and non human cystosome into human skin so these uh, actually these blood flukes do not uh, enter into the blood circulation but they wander aimlessly below the skin examples are cercaria of trichobilharzia uh, these are the avian uh, cystosomes trichobilharzia gigantobilharzia orientobilharzia so cercaria of these trematode cause this phenomena now mammalian cystosomes sorry these are the uh, non human uh, cystosomes cystosoma nasal and cystosoma spindle they causes the uh, swimmers itch now next phenomena is creeping eruption or cutaneous larval migraines it is a different phenomena because it is caused by filary form larvae of a parasitic nematode in the skin a uh, creeping eruption is an intense pruritic eruption of skin caused by prolonged migration of the hot dog and cat hookworm in man it was first reported by lee example is ankylostoma brasiliens which is a common hookworm of dog and cat oh, and it is also caused by a caninum that is ankylostoma caninum ansimeria stenocephala buonostomum phlebotomum which is a cattle hookworm and kylostoma duodenale nectar amer nectar species and actually strongyloides coralis star coralis it causes uh, larval forms of creeping eruption it is known as larva currents now can you tell me what is difference between a parasite and pathogen very important point actually both parasites and pathogens are disease causing agent in the host organism both are specific to the host and causes uh, high multiplication rate the major difference between a parasite and a pathogen is that parasite can be a category of pathogen whereas pathogens are disease causing organism in the host however not all parasitic organisms are pathogens the parasite is an organism that lives inside or on another organism known as host and organism actually the benefits parasite benefits at the expense of the host ideally parasites are the organism that can be seen with naked eye therefore parasites are macroscopic organism an example include protozoans and helminths also parasites are host specific therefore they can cause sickness in specific organism and they have diverse means of transmission in disease endemic areas many including complex interrelationship between the host parasite vector and environmental elements but pathogens are disease causing agents and they cause sickness to their host example such as virus bacteria fungus prion or parasite the host organism could be an animal plant or a, a microorganism so this is all, all about some terms about the parasitology and a, share like and subscribe my channel and you have if you have not subscribed my channel then please go through the my channel and press the bell icon to get my all videos very very thank you